Hi everybody, welcome back for Tonguing Tuesday here at the Quiet Corner Music Studio. For the past couple weeks, we've been focusing on different practice patterns in C major to start making our tongue better and more controlled. If you'll notice, all the tempo markings we've used so far have been from the upper 80s to the upper 110s. And we're going to talk about why today. Most people are able to tongue 16s pretty slowly, you know, anywhere from the 50s to the 70s pretty comfortably because it's slow and relaxed. And a lot of people are able to tongue pretty easily around 120 to 138 because their tongue just kind of goes on autopilot. But there's this area in the middle I call the trench where it's a little bit too fast to be relaxed and comfortable, but too slow for that autopilot to kick in. I think it's really important when you practice tonguing that you focus on making this trench as narrow as possible and work really hard to see how comfortable sounding you can make these parts of your tonguing that won't always be as comfortable as the others. Now, if you listen back to the past couple weeks of videos, you'll probably be able to figure out what my trench is. And I've worked pretty hard to limit it to about 104 to 112, but 108 is really hard for me. It is not comfortable. I want to go slower or I want to go faster, but my tongue just does not want to go 108. So when I practice tonguing, I always work on 108 because I need to make sure that it works as reliably as possible. So today I'm bringing you into my trench and we're going to do tonguing exercises just at 108. We're going to do 16th notes on beats two and four, and then on beats three and four, and then beats two, three, and four. We're then going to do our finger lining up exercises with five and nine notes. And then we're going to do trade-offs where I do a measure of sixteenths and then you do a measure of sixteenths. Today we're moving into B flat major instead of C major. So welcome to my trench today and let's get to work. Up first is sixteenth notes on beats two and four. Remember to go one note past when we get to the upper B flat. Here we go. Now. Next up is 16th notes on beats 3 and 4. Here we go. And now we're going to tongue beats two, three, and four. One, two. Next, we're going to line up with our fingers with five note scale segments. Thank you. 
to combine that, so we're going to do the full scale. So we're going to do four beats of sixteenths, half note rest. The scale is slurred sixteenths, half note rest. And then the scale is articulated sixteenths. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the upper B flat. I'm going to play four beats of 16th notes and then a half note A. When I get to the half note, you're going to play four beats of 16th notes A and then a half note on A flat. And we're going to keep trading off half steps. We're going to go down chromatically from the upper B flat to the lower B flat, taking turns. Four beats each. And one. <laughs> Good. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired. When I practice 108, I can really only go a couple minutes before my tongue starts to get fatigued, which is why when I practice 108, I'll do it a couple times during my practice session for just a couple minutes each time. As soon as I start to get fatigued, I stop because any continued work I do will result in weaker embouchure muscles or the tongue not firing as, you know, as little as possible, but starting to flail. So work really hard, find your trench, let me know in the comments what your trench is, and I'll come up with ways for us to work on it together. Happy Tonguing Tuesday, everyone.